Imagine that you can pursue that creative thing that you love doing and you make a living off of it, but you feel dragged down by your current job. Maybe you're too scared to take the full risk of going for that thing that you're so passionate about. So today I'm going to be giving you my testimony of how I was working into corporate world, then how I got out of it and I wanted to start making content. Maybe you can hear something that will help you out, maybe push you forward into your current experience. I'm going to really speed up like my background because I got the ADHD and we got things to do. Now, me personally, I knew my life wasn't meant for normal settings. No normal settings here. I knew I was unique when I came out my mama. That's not weird. <laughs> what did he say? So I met my closest friend in the industry when I was 15 named Panders. You might have seen them on MatCon or Vine. Shout out to Panders. Got me on Vine, gave me a lot of advice and really pushed me forward in my career. At the time, I really loved creating, I loved dancing, and I loved making vlogs. Shout out to the people who always watch my vlogs. I, I, I peep y'all. If you want me to vlog again, let me know in the comments if you think that'd be funny. Oh, whatever. Let's talk about how I got into like the workplace. So my mom was black, so I had to go to college. <laughs> And if you're black, you understand. <laughs> went to college and as soon as I was like getting out of college, I just went there for business management. I got a call from a recruiter saying, yo, there's a job opening up. You need to take it. It's probably one of the best opportunities that you can get. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll do it. I was in the prime decision-making period of what's next. Out of the fear of not being accepted by my parents, peers, and family members, I felt like I was held back and I had no other choice than taking the offer, i.e. taking the easy route. Months went by and I was talking to my life coach, my therapist, because at the time I could afford them and I want y'all back, come back. And I was just asking them, why aren't I happy? Us as humans, naturally we want to be liked and not judge for our actions. So some of us stay under the radar, especially when it comes to being on the internet. I was staying under the radar under the internet too, because I was working so much and I was trying to have a good impression for everybody at work. I wasn't posting the normal stuff that I would be posting on the internet. I don't know why. It's not like I was posting anything bad. I wasn't doing no spicy links or whatever. I was dousing my fire so other people didn't feel overheated. Hold up, that's a bar. <laughs> and speaking of a bar, my butt was in one every night. <laughs> While I was working in corporate, like I was just so sad because I wasn't creating. And after work, I'd be tired, so I wouldn't go to the bar to kind of like relieve my stress. And then I'd be tired after the bar, then I would go home, then I would sleep, and I wouldn't create. Fast forward a little bit, and at the time, I think TwitchCon was happening last year, I saw this clip of this one big streamer at like an after party treat a fan really, really nasty. I've seen a lot of like things in the industry while I've been dancing professionally that like people are just really nasty, bro. P people like are really scummy. Just being a part of the world, I was like, I was like, God, I don't want to be in that industry, man, because it's too dark. It's too dark. I don't want to get lost. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my light to go out, even though my light was already going out. <laughs> this is my deciding factor to leave the corporate environment to pursue content creation. I'm driving home like normal. Then I hear a voice in my head saying, get out of the car. I'm really in tune with Jesus. We linked up like this. I, I did it and questioned him at the same time. I was like, okay, why? As I'm taking off my bed. Okay, why? why <laughs> i'm walking on the street it's like 10 p.m at night i'm at this little crossroad and there's this girl on the side of the street playing her guitar and singing and you know it's late at night i'm trying to get across the street homegirl gonna look at me and play louder i'm like ma <laughs> it's 10 p.m ain't no way but one of the lyrics actually spoke out to me and i i knew it was god because god be think he got a sense of humor or whatever what she said was the darkness was a canvas for his glory for god's glory and I was like, dang, like that kind of got my head spinning. And I was like, dang, maybe I can be in this industry, but I don't have to be of the industry. You know, being disrespectful to people or being just like straight up like nasty. I thought about that and I was like, dang, right? You, you right, Lord, or whatever. <laughs> the next day I put in my two weeks at work and I've been streaming consistently on Twitch and Kick at Jonesy Official. You can follow me on whatever platform you want. When people see my content, I want people to be like, you know what, if Jonesy can do it, I can do it. But I know this is very valuable and I know a lot of people are kind of like in a similar situation. I'm just telling you, it took me so many cues and so many people telling me, Jonesy, you can make it, Jonesy, you can make it, to the point where I had to realize, everyone can say that like, I'm a good creator or I have potential, but if I don't actually put in the work and actually start, it's never gonna happen. So I'm telling you right now, you sitting down right there or standing up or in the car, I'm telling you guys right now, 
You guys can make it. You guys can make it happen. Just start. That is my whole thing today. This is the whole thing out of the video. If you don't get anything out of the video, start. Now also, next to the start, I need you to stop playing and subscribe and make sure you like this video. If this was helpful to you. You guys have a great day. I love you. Stay blessed. I'll catch you in the next one. If you guys want to see certain content from me, let me know because I'm going to start posting a lot of random videos just to figure out what y'all like and what I like to do, okay? All right, bye. I love you. Goodbye. Mwah.